Today, I'm going to be making a Central C and Ice Spice type beat like their latest release did it first inside of FL Studio. Central C and Ice Spice have teased their collab over the past few months. And not only have they dropped a new song, but they've also created an entire love story behind the song, which has now acted as basically a marketing strategy. Central C's girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend, whatever you want to call her, Madeline, is getting involved, posting all of these TikToks about it. And even a girl from the very beginning of Central's career called Kenza, who appeared in a couple of his music videos, has also been posting TikToks about the whole situation. And all this content controversy has gathered millions and millions of views and likes across all social media platforms and has everybody talking about Sench and Ice Spice. Genius marketing. The new song is cold. It adapts a crazy sound and melody, fuses it together with a classic Jersey Club drum pattern in which we're going to break down exactly how to do all this inside today's video. I'm not going to lie. I have attempted to try and make this melody probably like three times and I'll be real. They came out extremely garbage. So I have called in the big dog himself, Mr. Harry Beach to come along and help me out. If you're a long-term viewer, you know me and Harry have been friends for quite a while and I thought it's only right to get him involved in this video, not only because he's such a genius at making melodies, but also because he's actually produced one of Central C's upcoming songs. We've seen Central recording a music video and the beat that's playing in the background is produced by Harry. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it off to Harry, who's in London in Signature Studios, and he's going to create a melody like did it first. Quick side note, I have an exclusive Discord server that comes with crazy benefits all on screen now. 24-7 feedback, collabing with me all the time, placement opportunities, all that good stuff. If you're trying to get involved in that community, DM me on Instagram. Let me know you're interested in joining and yeah here past harry here what's good as harry beach nah so listen harry's recording messed up and um, this video goes live in three hours and he's not able to get another recording to me in time i'm gonna try my best to explain what he's done apologies about this but trust me the end of this is so worth it and hopefully seeing all these layers to his melodies can help inspire you to make something very similar to it so it consists of seven layers it starts with this simple piano Then it comes to this electric piano in which this has three separate kind of variations of it. This first one is kind of like two chords drowned out with some flanger. Then you've got this plucked version. Again, sounds like it's drowned out with flanger and phaser. And then you've got the last one. That's just like a heavily sidechained pluck. Then we have a crazy sounding accent. That sounds like it could have Portal or Shaper Box on it. This is where it gets spicy. There's a background vocal in this. And I genuinely think that this low-key could be Harry's voice because I know that he does this in his loops. That is so cold. Now, it might not be his vocal, but the vocal's still hard. And lastly, we have the iconic part of the melody, which is the vocal chop part. I'm not exactly sure what his technique was for making this, but... <laughs> and let's see what I do with the drums. And trust me, wait until the end to see the final outcome, because this beat is crazy. Harry has slipped me through the melody. 154 BPM. Let's hear it. Bro, how has he done this? Do you know how long I spent trying to make a vocal that sounded like this? It's so stupid that he was able to do this. It sounds so cold. Bro, these layers are insane. Now it's time for us to actually do this some justice. Let me try to get like a slight bit of arranging on the this melody in general. Let's get rid of that. Then do it. That's so smooth. Let's just try to chop this a little bit. I hope Harry doesn't mind that I'm chopping it, but I feel like I need to repeat the first part before it changes down. See the way that goes down? I feel like I want it to just go. something like that so for the drums here we're going to be using my new school jersey drum kit i can't lie i think that this might be genuinely one of the best jersey drum kits that's out there i'm not even just saying because it it's me but genuinely i think it is so there's gonna be a link in the description where you can go grab it and obviously the sentient ice spice song was pretty minimal on the drum production so we're gonna cover exactly what they did and then i'm gonna add my own kind of style to it later in the beat too of course the first thing you need to add 
is the kick. Now, a jersey kick pattern is extremely simple and basic. You just want to do a pattern like this. But something to note in this song is at the end of every second bar, they get rid of a kick. <laughs> It sounds a little bit muddy already, and the biggest thing that you need to do when making jersey beats is sidechain your kick to all of your melodies. As you can see on my mixer, I've got a melody bus, and we've sidechained our kick to it. Then you want to put on Kickstart 2 onto your melodies, then you want to come into processing and enable sidechain. And I like to turn the mix down a little bit, we'll probably put it around 35%. <laughs> very, very straightforward, everyone should be able to do this. I guess the biggest issue that people might face is basically finding the right sound selection for a jersey kick. Some people use jersey kicks that are like knocking and clipping like crazy. Personally, I prefer a bit of a more softer kind of kick. Next, we need to add the 808. We're doing the exact same process of sidechain and my kick to my 808, except this time we're going to use track spacer. Track spacer is basically the exact same for, as kickstart, except I prefer when using kicks and 808s, just because you have a little bit more control of frequencies. One thing that I like to do with this is I'm going to put the velocity of my 808 all the way up. <laughs> Right here, we're playing it without the kick, which is kind of make it a little bit more jumpy. This part goes up. Now, the next thing that's added into this beat is actually a gunshot kind of sound. And funny enough, it's actually the exact sound that's from my new school jersey drum kit. If you listen to the Sench song and then listen to this, you're going to know it's the exact same. So we're just going to drag this in here. Something like this. And honestly, that's pretty much all the drum production that was done on the Ice Spice and Central C song. But we're going to go a, a couple of extra steps here because we're trying to make this a bit interesting. So let's make a couple more sections to this beat. So what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to continue this kind of like gun cock kind of sound. And what we don't want to do here is we want to make the second one unique. And you want to turn the volume down because if you turn the velocity down of every second one, you create this kind of unique kind of bounce. <laughs> And what we can do also is even do like kind of repeats in them. We'll continue the little gunshot kind of theme that we have. Next, we're going to grab a Vox and we're basically going to do the same thing as the gunshot. Except on this one, again, make unique. Um, we can just turn down the velocity of this one. Might even turn it down a little bit more. Might turn down the main one, actually. Actually, layer... Where is this? This little whip sound with it. Gonna have it, like, come in after the one. so bouncy now for the next section let's change up the melody a little bit what we can do is we can cut all the vocals that sounds so clean what we can also do is do like a little delayed kind of drum maybe. probably something like that i think i might just continue over this this guncock sound Grab another Vox. We're gonna need to chop this up. We're gonna have to. This is gonna be a lot of making things unique, changing the velocities. Also, 
also gonna go grab a bed squeak. Do I have a section just for squeaks? Yes, I do. Let's grab this eight bar. That sounds so cold. For this next section, we're gonna bring back in the vocals. Let's cut these vocals towards the end. And let's bring that out. We are gonna go. Wait, let's go like. So cold. Should I leave that at the end or not? Let me leave it. Wait, there's a different part of the vocal that might actually sound better here. Yeah, this bit sounds way harder. Oh, that's gotta be nasty. All right, let's make one more effect here. Let's just throw this on like the ones, kinda. Like that. If we were to just go something like that. Add a little bit of detail into the intro. We just added a respace. And yeah, let's play this in full. I'm going to leave Harry's Instagram in the description. Make sure you go check him out, man. And yeah, man, leave a like on this video. It tells other producers that YouTube should be seeing this content. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Trying to hit 30k subs. And yeah, man, here's the full beat. This came out crazy, I can't lie. This is cold. That melody is so good. I can't believe they used that sound as well. That's kind of crazy. And this is a cold breakdown section. That's so clean. Appreciate you for watching the video. Appreciate Harry Beach for helping me out. Yeah, man, run me up on IG and TT because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Good luck. See you later. Bow.